lot of the narrative relies on uh, uh, the casting of uh, on Chong Chen, on Chong Chen's performance. Uh, so you, you, in the introduction, you spoke a little bit how you how the, the project happened. Can you tell us a little bit more about uh, getting Chong Chen involved and the qualities you saw in him uh, for this story? え、and so I initially met Chang Chen at Montreal Film Festival in 2003, and he told me that he was a fan. And from then on, we would run into each other at various film festivals. And then the, when we were in Taiwan, he had heard that I was there, and so he came to say hello, and that was kind of where it started. So you, also, you, you liked him as a performer as, as well. What films did you like him in? I'm curious how he got your attention, actually. So when I, when I first met him, I just thought he was very handsome. Um, but I actually hadn't seen any of his work. Well, for those of you who don't know and who only cares about how handsome he is, he's best known probably for Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and uh, the Edward Yang movie, who's his uh, debut, um, uh, A Brighter Summer Day. I was going to forget for a second. Uh, but so the, for, for you, casting these good-looking actors is, seems to be important. I mean, it's, it seems to be a recurring thing. It, and, I mean, yeah, it sounds like <laughs> maybe a trivial thing, but... あ、でもそれはそれはかっこよかったですよ。今回のミスターローもやっぱ普通の俳優さんではないんで、その登場してきたなんですか車から降りてくるところからもう始まってるというか、おおっていう来たスター来たぜって感じがあります。I mean, he's so exceptionally handsome. <laughs> uh, you know, it's not it's not common, you know, uh, even the very first scene of getting out of the car when he comes out, it's like there's a star. Uh, not every actor has this. So this film has this an interesting balance or maybe imbalance between uh, violence. It starts off quite violent, like about 20 people die. Uh, I mean, or something at the very, very quickly. And then it gets very quiet and there are moments of, uh, of uh, comedy. So I want to ask you about this uh, mix, how, how do you come up with that? Yeah, I mean, it's very difficult, but in some ways, it's a hard story of the young people. 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 But I'm a young man, so I'm a young man. I'm a young man, so I'm a young man. Uh, it was really difficult to kind of turn this kind of violent thing into this different tone, comedic tone, but I'm a genius, so <laughs> I made it work. He's actually a very humble guy. It's not a brag, really. We've known each other now for almost 10 years. Um, I want to, so speaking of this violence, I mean, it's, it's, it's something I've noticed in your recent uh, films in particular. There's something boiling underneath. Like, if you have an hour of calm, all of a sudden it explodes even more violently. So I want to, I'm trying to understand where this rage is coming from. We showed a few years ago a film called uh, Happiness, a uh, really very good film as well. It has a similar kind of thing going on. There's an undercurrent of calm and sadness, and all of a sudden the, there's this rage that just mm. kind of explodes ah. at times. And definitely mm. Mr. Long, Liu San, has the, the same thing. Yeah, Mr. Long is so beautiful. He was very beautiful. But he didn't have a knife. 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 He didn't have a and so uh, with Mr. Long, um, the action scene, I really did want to make something that was beautiful and just with the one knife. And that knife was kind of symbolizing the anger and the rage. 
あのナイフもね俺大阪の問屋街で買った100円で買ったねこへっこむナイフなんですけど。ああ。でもねあれでもチャンチン動き早いし結局はここで。叩いてるんで役者はみんな痛がってましたけどね。I mean, but Chang Chen moves very quickly, and at the end, even though the blade retracts, they're getting hit with it, so all the actors seem to be in pain. <laughs> uh, I still kind of want to know where, where, where this, where's this rage coming from? I find your films very angry lately. I don't know. Yeah. その怒りはあんまり関係ないかな。俺どっちかって言ったらあの野球のシーンがやりたかったんで、あのあの子供が野球に参加するっていうあのシーンが撮れればいいなと思ってたんで、あんまりアクションとかはそんなそんな大好きでもない。Um, I don't, I'm not really concerned with the anger. Really, the most important scene for me in this film was the baseball scene where the kid ends up joining the Baseball team, that was really what I that was most important to me. So, action and stuff isn't, as, isn't my focus really.、Yeah. Uh, on a lighter note, I mean, there's a lot of cooking in the film. That's,、uh, I mean, there's many aspects to, to this movie, like in a lot of your films before, there's a mix of genres.、Uh, so, the, the scenes were kind of reminiscent of a film like Tang Popo. Is that any influence on the, on the film? The, the, Uh, you see a lot of Chang Chen、mm-hmm. cooking the, the beef noodle, ty- typical Taiwanese dish. Was Tang Popo an influence on that? Tang Popo is not a good thing. I was told that I was a good thing. 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 その人を喜ばすものに変わるとかその考え方一つでそのそのマイナスがプラスになるっていうような作品が好きなんでなんかその料理もそうですけどそれによってそのみ,みんながコミュニケーションを取れるようになったりとかっていうその話の展開が、はい、脚本書いててすごく自分でも気に入ってます。Um, it, that actually wasn't really an influence for me.、Um, I did tell Chan Chen to practice cooking. Before filming. But、uh, drive it. even with,、um, my previ- uh, with Drive, I, I really like that this object that's used to kill someone can also make somebody happy. And so, just by a shift in perspective or thought, something that's seen as negative can become positive. And it can also become a tool of communication, this knife. And so,、um, I, I really like that how that can move a story along, even as I was writing it. I really like that. So, it's quite rare for a Japanese film to employ as the、um, lead character、uh, uh, a foreign actor.、Uh, Chang Chen is Taiwanese, so I'm wondering about the communication and、uh, in terms of、uh, directing him. How did that work out? I kind of know half the answer. It's a very special thing. I'm going to ask you to ask me 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 to a Um, there was, of course, a very special translator there, but Chan Chen also speaks a little bit of English and he really became friendly with a lot of the staff very quickly. How different was it working with him? It, that's the first time you're working with a non Japanese actor. I'm not, I, I can't quite remember because you've made quite a few films at this point. Is that the first time you were working with a foreign actor? And how different was it for,、uh, with working with a Japanese cast? えー、とそうですね、ちゃんとそうですね、初めてですかな、うんで,うん、でも、あのー、海外で撮影するのも初めてでしたね、台湾、えっとうん、全然変わらず、というか、すごいプロフェッショナルなんで、楽でした、だし、自分で
あのちゃんちも分かった分かったでも,うもちろん俺全部絵コンテもストーリーボードも書くので見せるんですけどあのカット俺書けない癖があって見ててすごく面白いんでちゃんちはいつまでも芝居がずっと続けれる人なんですごいあのす,すごいなと思いまして。はい um. It was my first time working with a non Japanese actor and also my first time filming. But, you know, Chang Chen is such a professional.、Um, of course, I was prepared with the storyboard and everything, but、um, I also have this habit of not really calling cut. And Chang Chen's an actor who can really keep going. So it was really, it was really interesting to keep watching him work.、Uh, let me turn to the audience who probably has a few questions. It's getting late, so let's try and stick to one question. Question rather than comment. So, if you have any question, can you, if you could raise your hand. Yes, in the front. Laura?、Uh, microphone is coming. All right. First, a little question、um, is, perf uh, is perfume actually a real thing? Perfume. Okay. okay.、Uh, my main question was、um, your, it, it seemed to me to be the form of a fable. Kind of Monogatari, like once upon a time, there was a guy that killed all these people, and then he goes, and he's all alone, he's redeemed by a child, and then he, he slays all the bad guys. So that was kind of a comment in the form of a question. Like it's like in the form of this traditional tale, like the Monogatari form. Is what you're saying, asking? Some type of fairy tale. Once upon、yeah. a time,、yeah. a Japanese style fairy tale.、Yeah. そうですね。その,あの子連れ狼っていうのがあったり昔日本でそういう作品がありましただからそういう屋台を引いてるとかっていう設定もすごく古い日本の昭和のような形なんで多分そう感じられたのかと思います僕もそ,そういうちょっとそういう匂いを出したかったなとも思ってました I th Yes, I think there is definitely a bit of that and that was something I wanted to bring out a bit myself but either stories like、um, the wolf who had a kid Who, who was with a child, there are these kinds of、um, older stories. And the, even with the pulling of the food truck, food stand, the old rickshaw food stand,、um, it, I want, that has a really traditional Japanese older feel to it. And so that was something that I did want. すごいちっこい小さな幸せを見つけれるっていうかそういうあの,のがいいかなと思ってだからその,その昭和初期の頃のような別に物も,も,も何もないんですけどあの明日の約束とか例えば「ただいま」って帰ってくるとかあの晩ご飯を一緒に食べるとかそういうことにちゃんと幸せを感じるようなあのものにしたかった。And so、um, I really was drawn to this, the idea of setting the story in a rural Japanese town where there isn't much going on, and these Chinese, Taiwanese people come over and they find small happiness in this area where there isn't much going on. So、um, I, I think I explore this also in my early works, but、uh, finding you know, small happiness in just coming home or eating dinner together, that was really something. That I wanted to explore and express. Great, thank you.、Uh, another question from the audience.、Uh, there's a few in the front. Let's see the gentleman in the front.、Uh, yes, it's coming behind you.、Yeah. I'm curious、uh, how you cast the lead child actor and if it was difficult to find、uh, somebody who fit the part. Thank you. えっとうん、あの何人かあったんですけど彼が何ともあの暗い目をしてたんで暗い目をしながらか頼んでもないのになんかあのカンフーとかやっちゃったりして<笑>まあいいかと思って。<笑> so I actually held auditions in Taiwan and there were, there were several kids in consideration but the one we ended up using had really dark eyes. Um, eyes of darkness. And, but even though he had these dark eyes, you know, without us asking, he was doing these kung fu moves and stuff. So I thought he would be good. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Right. Uh, there was uh, there were a few more questions in uh, yes the lady right here yeah thank you um, I just had a question about um, costume design especially for the main character it was like black and flowy and it seemed like it had more of like a Japanese feel to it rather than Taiwanese or Chinese or whatever so I, I guess I was just curious about the how you guys determine how to dress the main character. So, that's あの、日本に来てからあの、屋台を引くようになってからの衣装の変わり方っていうのがまたそこで差をつけたかったので、あの、あえてちょっとクールな方向のじゃあ、あとその、あれですね、あの、ナイフの動きアクションに2個美しく
She was also auditioned in Taiwan, the woman who played Lily. Uh, it was, I was really helped by her because she was um, even stronger an actress than I had expected, could imagine. And there was an earlier when he's Chang Chen's character is trying to stop her from using drugs, and he really didn't hold back. He was quite physical with her, so um, I was a little surprised by that, but also it was cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, I see a question in uh, the gentleman. Yes, a little bit high. Yeah, you see, you sorry. Okay, thanks. Hi, thank you. Uh, why was it necessary to the story for the woman to kill herself at the end? And did you consider um, alternate possible endings for her character? Thank you. いや、I, I did think about other endings, um, but I just didn't really want it to kind of end up neat, like a neat, happy ending. Um, and so, you know, she uses this drug, and again, and she's put into this hopeless place and ends up feeling that it's not possible to get up again. And um, I played around with the script, but this is really where I ended up, and she also, you know, uh, kills herself not knowing that Chang Chen is also, character is also a killer. Okay, I think we can do maybe one more before we wrap up, because it's getting close to midnight. Okay, on the right side, over there. Um, how much um, international, um, how much inspiration do you draw from international films? And if you were to, uh, what what are some of the films you would you would love to have made other than your own? Other than other than his own. Yeah. Other than his own. Okay. Thank you. I really love Tarkovsky. And recently I've been rewatching at home, but he's amazing. I'll, I'll steal from him one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> you, you like Yorgos Lantinos, you were just mentioning. Can we talk about that? Or is that, was it just a private thing? <laughs> you liked uh, the Yorgos Lantinos film. Um, uh, we were talking earlier, was it? Yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah, the Hunting of the Sacred Deer. Hunting of the Sacred Deer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of Hunting recent <laughs> films, uh, it was really interesting. Mm. Uh, before we close this, I, I never ask you, what, what did you think of um, Run, Lola, Run? I mean, one of the reasons, the, the, your first film, Dangan Runner, was, uh, that was his first film, what a uh, brilliant movie, yeah. with about three guys running yeah. after each other, yeah. the entire movie. Yeah. You have to watch this. <laughs> it's really quite something. <laughs> それはあの、えっと、パノラマっていう部門でした。で、その後ずっとでフォーラムっていう部門で読まれ続けてて、で、えっとね、何年 
走る映画があるっていうときあの見たいって言ってあいつあのそこの,あのパノラマの,あのオフィスから VHS を持って帰ったとだからダンロラランはお,お前の絵をパクってるぞと<笑>言ってましたよ。Uh, well, I showed、uh, my first film Dangan Runner, Runner in the panorama section of the Berlin Film Festival in 1996 and since then a lot of my works were shown in the forum section Um, but seven years later, I screened、uh, another film of mine called Dead Run in the Panorama section again at the Berlin Fel- Film Festival. And when I was there for that, the director came to speak to me and told me that after Dan Gan Runner, the director of Run Lola Run、um, came to him and asked him about this movie with running. And so, and got the VHS of Dan Gan Runner from the Panorama office. And so that director, the director of Berlin Film Festival, was saying that the director of Run Will or Run stole from me. <laughs> I mean, it, it really is almost the same thing, seriously. <laughs> Dan Gan Runner means bullet runner, by the way. So did you ever get to watch it? Run Will or Run? No, no, no. Did you watch it? What did you think? I'm not sure. 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 Uh, I did see it, but I don't remember much of it. <laughs> All right. Can I ask you before wrapping?、Uh, but you, you mentioned a little bit earlier your,、uh, your, your next projects. You're, you're very prolific lately, so you have quite a few films in the works,、uh, at least two of which are going to come out next year. Can you tell us a little bit about those upcoming films? ちょっとホラーっぽいやつね。でもう一本はその原作ものです。両方ともすごく面白い。期待してください。原作ものは今の。え、いや、I have two films coming up. One's horror, and the other one's based on another source material, and they're both really, they'll both be really interesting to watch. So please look forward to it. All right, and we look forward to welcoming you a fourth time in New York.、Uh, thank you for coming and taking the time to taking these questions with us. Thank you. Thank you very much.